beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. On this solemn day, we commemorate the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. The readings for today, from the Acts of the Apostles, the Psalms, and the letters of St. Paul, invite us to witness the glorious moment when Christ was taken up before the eyes of his disciples and to ponder its significance for our lives. In the first reading from Acts, Acts 1 verses 1 to 11, we are reminded of Jesus' final moments with his apostles. He commands them to stay in Jerusalem and await the Holy Spirit, the promise of the Father. This is a powerful reminder for us to remain steadfast in our faith, awaiting the fulfillment of God's promises in our lives. The Responsorial Psalm, PS 47 2 3, 6 7, 8 9, echoes with joyous praise God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. It is a call for us to rejoice in the Lord's victory over death and his reign over all creation. St. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, F1 17-23, prays that we may be granted a spirit of wisdom and revelation. He desires for us to know the hope that belongs to Christ's call, the riches of glory in his inheritance among the saints. This is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe. The Gospel of Mark, Mark 16 verses 15 to 20, recounts the Great Commission, where Jesus sends out his disciples to preach the gospel to all creation. It is a mandate that extends to each one of us to share the good news and to be witnesses of Christ's love and salvation to the ends of the earth. As we reflect on the ascension, let us consider our own spiritual journey. Are we ready to ascend with Christ? Are we prepared to take up the mission entrusted to us? The ascension is not just about Jesus leaving us, it is about him empowering us to continue his work, with the assurance that he is always present, guiding us to our heavenly home. Let us then go forth with courage and faith, proclaiming the gospel and living out the love of Christ in our daily lives. May we ascend with Christ in heart and spirit, until the day we are united with him in eternal glory. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we're all about sharing engaging content that you won't want to miss. So, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, share, and comment below to support us. Your interaction not only helps our channel grow but also tells us what content you love to see. Thanks for stopping by and we hope you subscribe and join our community. God bless you always.